Hey guys, it's the Diecast Man here bringing you another review. Today it's on the 118 scale Welly Lamborghini Aventador LP704. If you saw my unboxing video, this is the newest addition to my collection. Um, and I bought the Welly one, not the Maestro, the Barago one, for um, a couple different reasons. And you're going to see why this model is so much better um, over the course of this video. I paid, uh, I think, for in the neighborhood of $43 for it um, on eBay where I buy most of my cars. And one of the main reasons why I went with the Welly is the headlights. So taking a look at the headlights here, we see that super iconic like Y pattern, um, and then the the nice by Xenon thing. It was barely even visible on the review videos that I watched for the Maisto and the Barago. And then that nice um, embossed Lamborghini logo here, and then just some more mesh and that super, super aggressive front end that Welly captured like perfectly. Um, so we do have working suspension and this nice bright orange color if you're familiar with the um, spec of the orange that Lamborghini offers on the Aventador. So we have these beautiful gloss black wheels. I don't have very many cars that have gloss black wheels. But the contrast of the orange and the gloss black looks awesome. So we have the Lamborghini logo in the center there and then the Lamborghini brake calipers and then the ventilated discs that do spin through the calipers which is a nice touch. I mean you just take a look at all the lines and all the, the time that Whoops, all the time that Welly spent um, preparing this model for the public, and it, it's, they've certainly paid attention to detail. So I have um, door handles there, and then a huge air intake, and then some more vents here, and then the LP704 badge. Yeah, the hood um, and the wipers, everything looks super, super nice. So, I would say that the biggest reason why I didn't buy the Maestro or the Brago one was because of the tail lights. On here we can see that there's excellent detail through the tail lights and it is actually um, a separate plastic piece. It was a sticker on the Maestro, if I'm not mistaken. And I just said, A, that's not living up to Maestro's um, usual quality, and B, I can't have a sticker on a Lamborghini. I think that that's just insane. So we have the awesome detail here in the, in the tail lights. Um, the four exhaust pipes here which um, actually do have some depth to them and then the nice carbon fiber diffuser here and then um, the little Aventador plate there and those are some paint flaws there but that's okay I think I think it makes up for the fact that this model is so awesome I think that makes up for it and then the Lamborghini right there Oops. so let's go ahead and open everything up Alright, so that's with everything open. Um, the trunk, I just want to say right off the bat, feels like super nice when you're raising and lowering it. Um, so, And I found that it's best to open it next to the headlight, so you just kind of stick your nail in there, and then it just opens right up. So not a whole lot to see there, just some black plastic, no carpeting or anything. So I really like what Welly did here. What they did is they tried to make this look just like glass, um, and it looks just like glass. When I actually did the unboxing, I thought it was glass for a minute, but then I realized it wasn't, and I got some stuff right there. Um, then I realized it wasn't, um, but it looks just like glass. They really captured that cascading look over the engine bay really, really well. So look at this engine. This thing, we have the nice X brace here. Nothing moves. It's all like really securely in there, and the X brace and the engine are two totally separate um, pieces, and neither one move. They're both like firmly secured in there. So the engine detail is phenomenal. It says V12 by turbo on there. Um, and then this is the cool thing that I think that gives this car some character. I noticed this right away. Um, what you'd see in a higher end model, like the actual mesh um, that you could see through, um, was not found on here. So what they did is they actually took a piece of plastic and they put like this mesh patterning over it. And I just think that that is so cool. I mean, what a neat idea to try and make it look just like that without having to get the extra, the extra cost in. So kudos to Welly for that, because I think that just that looks really cool. So that was definitely, definitely a nice touch. It's the only model that I have that I've ever seen um, that on there, and it's also one of two models that I have that has a two-tone interior. So this interior is almost like a lava red kind of thing. It matches really well to the. Uh, orange paint and it gives that really nice contrast once again so you can see we have the Lamborghini steering wheel of course with the working steering um, and then the center console we'll take a look at in a minute and then all the gauges all the buttons everything is colored in the seats look really 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 nice and we even have did I, I think I just noticed that yeah we even have the Lamborghini logo and the headrest 
I never even noticed that. See, it's the cool things that you <laughs> notice when you do a review. This car just keeps surprising me. So the gas cap there looks great. All the lines look perfect. And then you can see that beautiful center console where everything is just colored in exactly as it should be. Um, with the, You can see the start button and the whole uh, screen and everything just looks so phenomenal in the interior. And the door panels, let's see if I can get a good view here. The door panels also, there we go. Door panels also look really nice with more of that orange contrast as well. Now the doors feel super, super nice when you're raising and lowering them. Let me just uh, lower my camera. So they feel like super, super nice. When I first got it, I thought it's actually like a piece within this whole trim here, which I think is really nice. But when you're like raising it up, it has that nice pull and it stays up perfectly. And then it just kind of goes back into place when you're putting it down with that little, almost like a spring action. And the windows are at halfway um, as well. But yeah, so you can kind of see, I mean, I really wanted the good headlight detail and I didn't want a sticker as a tail light on, a, on the back, as you can probably imagine. But yeah, I would not recommend buying any Maestro or Barago one. Um, the Auto Art, if you can afford it, obviously, because it's an Auto Art. Um, but for $43 shipped, um, I'll leave a link in the description to Amazon um, if they sell it, which they might not, now that I think about it. I don't know if they actually carry this car, but if they leave, a, I'll leave a link in the description if they do, and I won't if leave one if they do not. But yeah, this is the 118 scale Welly uh, Pagani, Welly <laughs> Lamborghini Aventador LP704. Um, stay tuned for some new videos. I'm going to have some new additions to my collection as the Christmas season uh, kind of comes up. So thank you guys so much for watching. It's Thycast Man signing off.